Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today I have a little Raven coin news and we'll see what the profitability is on my mining rigs, what they did over the weekend. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay, real quick before we go on guys, I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. So when the enter to win video comes out, you'll be notified. It's that simple. All right, let's check out some Ravencoin. All right, Ravencoin. Ravencoin sees a massive volume surge of 61,000% after Binance listing. Uh, the sleeping giant Ravencoin has surged significantly within the seven-day volume, increasing as much as 61,000, almost 62,000%. With a 24-hour volume change at 55%, this comes out to the coin pump 257% post its listing on Binance. It's still climbing right now. Uh, Ravencoin seems to be doing well in this everlasting bear market when compared to other altcoins. The price of the coin October 11th was just over a penny with a 24-hour volume of 237000 After the official announcement on Binance blog post, the price shot up to $0.02, cents, and the next day with the price reaching as high as $0.05. Cents. Uh, the volume, however, has shot up from 184000 to $116 million as of October 22nd, which is today. Um, the course, like I said earlier, almost 62,000%. That is insane. This is by far the best gains the bear market has uh, seen ever since the fall of Bitcoin. CEO of Binance, Changping Zhao, tweeted out that the listing tweeted out about the listing, saying the project had no ICO and built up by a team of humble people, acknowledging the humble community behind a lesser-known project. Uh, CZ also uh, CZ allowed the project to be listed without any listing fees. The coin was listed on the exchange on October 12th. Notably, Binance holds the number one spot among exchanges for highest trading volume. Um, the Ravencoin project is an open source Bitcoin fork launched in January 2018 that focuses on the creation of digital assets on its proof-of-work blockchain, which is X16R. Uh, the project is a true open source project with no pre-mine, no ICO, no master nodes, and is focused on building a useful technology with a strong community. So huge gains for um, Ravencoin, and it just continues to climb. Here we are on corn market cap, 63% today. 0 0.065276, so it's penny and a half higher than it was uh, just on that article, which was written, I think, now maybe seven hours ago over there on um, AMB Crypto. So let's check out the rigs here. Um, it's only at $8.34 right now. I'm mining, I stopped mining Ethereum Classic. Uh, I'm actually just shifted over to Monero because another bit of news with Monero, if you know, uh, it just hard forks. So they have a vari variation of the, I think it's a Kryptonite V8 um, version 2, if I'm not mistaken, algorithm now. So I hopped on that real quick. Um, what to mine said that. Um, it would be a little more profitable than Ethereum Classic like a, by about 14 cents a day. So I jumped on it. Um, I'm going through Mining Pool Hub and converting it to Bitcoin as of right now. Um, another thing I'm doing is I'm doing a competition or a comparison, I would say, between Honey Miner, uh, Kudo Miner, which I had a video. should be popping up here if you want to watch that. I just did a video on that Friday. Uh, Windminer and NiceHash. I'm going to do a competition between the four of those. Um, the last one to do right now is Honeyminer. And I'll probably have a video coming out on that either tomorrow or uh, Wednesday. Maybe Wednesday. Got a little issue with Honeyminer. But anyways, and I'll see which one is more profitable over a 24-hour period. Um, thought you guys might like to know that. I mean, there's more and more of these miners coming out that... Um, auto switch according to coin uh, profitability. 
So I thought I would test it out and let you all know. But once I'm done with that on my NVIDIA rig, I'm going to be mining Ravencoin on that because it's so profitable right now. Either that or Havencoin right here. That's gone up almost, four, well, just about four times here in like the past week and a half, two weeks. Because when I was mining it, it was only 55 cents a coin. It's up to 259 right now. Um, total value mine, I did just break $900. I'm at 901 right now. Uh, and that is due largely in part um, to Ravencoin's spike in price this week. Also, the um, Stellite has gone up a lot this week, and I got 75,000 coins. So that shot up as well. So it's been a nice week so far, and it's not even over with. I mean, I'm up, um, let me see, last week was 775, so almost a little over $125 this week jump because of the Raven coin and Stellite. So I, I still got to decide whether I want to hop on Raven coin or Haven coin and for my NVIDIA rig. But right now, on my AMD, I'm mining Monero. I know it's got ETC right here, but I just just did that a little while ago. So anyways, I um, guess that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, if you got anyone else out there is mining um, Ravencoin right now or Monero, let me know below and uh, let me know if you're going to continue mining it because those are pretty profitable coins right now. Um, again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.